service this evening. This is the first night of Advent. Advent leads us to our Christmas celebration in just a few weeks. Tonight is also a contemplative service that invites us to rest in the peace, mercy, and compassion of God. We invite you to enter into prayer, into whatever form that you are comfortable with, invite you to sing along the songs and the chants, to light a candle, to pray. Thank you for being with us. Thank you. 
word that Isaiah, son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. In days to come, the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established as the highest of the mountains, and shall be raised above the hills. All the nations shall stream to it. Many peoples shall come and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, that he may teach us his ways, and that we may walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth instruction, and the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. He shall judge between the nations, and shall arbitrate for many peoples. They shall beat their swords into plowshares, and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall they learn war any more. O house of Jacob, come, let us walk in the light of the Lord. is nearer to us now than when we became believers. The night is far gone. The day is near. Let us then lay aside the works of darkness and put on the armor of light. Let us live honorably as in the day, not in reveling and drunkenness, not in debauchery and licentiousness, not in quarreling and jealousy. Instead, put on the Lord Jesus Christ and make no provision for the flesh to gratify its desires.
In this season of preparation, let us pray for a world that yearns for new hope. God of all, your children everywhere cry out for mercy. Awaken the global church and community to the urgent needs of our time. Break down barriers of culture and custom and unite people of all faiths in your redemptive and healing work. God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of wonder, the earth's beauty and abundance is your gift. Teach us your ways of sharing resources and caring for life. Guard fragile habitats, preserve the wild places, and protect endangered plants and animals. Bring relief to areas devastated by natural disasters and climate change. God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of peace, you judge the nations. Beat our weapons into tools for serving our neighbors. Strengthen the resolve of all who work for an end to war. We pray for lasting peace in the land of Jesus' birth, in Ukraine and Russia, and in any place where violence reigns. God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. God of love and kindness, you desire fullness of life for everyone. Fill those who hunger, comfort the grieving, and attend to those near death. Bring help and hope to any who are sick or needing your care. Strengthen caregivers and medical personnel who are weary. God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. prayer. God of community, you are present when we gather in your name. Guide congregations in conflict or transition, especially St. Columbus as we search for a new rector. Give wisdom to congregational councils, call committees, and ministry leaders. Keep us alert to unexpected opportunities for mission. God, in your mercy, hear our prayer. prayer. Let us pray as Jesus taught us, saying, Our Father in heaven, Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. God of our longing, send your Holy Spirit upon us and our Advent season. When we feel we have too much to do, help us to seek quiet spaces to hear your voice each day. When we are anxious over many things, remind us to look forward to your coming among us. When our hearts are heavy, Spur us to seek the joy of your presence. We are your people, walking in darkness, yet seeking the light. We offer all our prayers to you, Creator God, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. Amen. 
And now I invite you to light a candle, offer a prayer, reflect, enter into the singing of these chants.
joining us on this first Sunday of Advent. May your season of Advent be a blessing to you as you prepare for your Christmas worship.